Alright boys and girls and welcome to Chord on Guitar. We have Pitch Pit here again on this channel. This time the song is Vicky. So like always Pitch Pit they are a bit challenging. They have some kind of different chords and uh, not difficult but just different. So yeah we will have uh, I believe uh, eight different chords for this song. Yeah eight. So uh, we need to start right away. We have the capo set here on the 5th fret and let's start with the G. Alright, so that is 3rd on E, 2nd on A, open D, open G, 3rd B and 3rd E. Then we have C, so that is 3rd on A, 2nd on D, open G, 1st B and open E. Then we have A7. That is open A, 2nd D, open G, 2nd B, and open E. Then we have D7. So open D, 2nd G, 1st B, and 2nd E. Then comes the C major 7. Alright, so 3rd on A, 2nd on D. Open G, open B, and open E. Then we have a C major 7 with a 9, I will call it, so we can say C major 9 instead, so we will differ from, yeah, separate these two chords. Like that, okay. So that is 3rd on A, 1st on D, and then open G, open B, and open E. Then we have C sharp minor 7, that is 4th on A, 2nd on D, open G, open B and open E. And then finally we have the A minor 9, so that is 5th on E string, 3rd on A, 2nd on D, open G, open B and open E. So a bit different the last chords there and that is the eight chords we need to know. All right so we will look at the strumming pattern first before we start with the chord progression and we can grab a G there since that is the first chord. So this one is pretty long but it's the uh, same through the whole entire strumming here but we need to try to emphasize certain downs, okay? So it will be in total of down, up, down, up. If you look at that as one, you will play that for four times, okay? So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Down, up, down, up, sorry. Down, up, 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 down, up. That is one strumming round. So down, up, down, up times four, nothing else, all right? But we will try to emphasize the, the second down in every of these four parts, if you understand what I mean. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So on the second down in every down, up, down, up. Okay? So. And on the fourth, you will try to emphasize the first up. So the first three parts down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, and on the last, the fourth, down, up. You emphasize the up there. Down, up. So the rhythm and the feeling for this will be like this. That is the strumming. All right. So it starts with an intro uh, where you're gonna play G for three rounds. So it's down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. One, two, three. Okay. 
So three Gs and then one C, one A7 and one C. So the total thing here, the intro will sum up this. 3G, 1C, 1A7, and 1C. All right, so that is the intro. Now, first verse, okay? Uh, the chord progression there will be G one time, C one time, A7 one time, and C one time. Okay, so let's start with that. G. C. A7. C. And then it continues almost in the same way. You play G one time, C one time, A7 one time, so still everything the same. But now we play D7, and for this D7, only one down. So the second part will be G1, C1, A7, 1, and D7, just one down. So G, C, A7, and one down on D7. All right. Then comes our instrumental part. We don't need to go through that. It's just the G. One strumming around, C one strumming around, A7 one, one strumming around, and C one strumming around. All right. Then comes, uh, right after this, comes the second verse in the lyrics, If You Lived Right Down the Street. Okay. So that one will be played in the same way as we just learned the first verse. The only difference here is the last D7 chord. Instead of just doing one down, you play one full strumming around for this D7. So that means. right and that's it for the second verse then comes a uh, course Vicky doesn't need to be all right now that's where we are in the lyrics now we will change this down up down up and just play downs so it will be G eight downs C eight downs a7 eight downs and C eight downs okay so uh, pretty much it's the same chords as we learned for the verse. So G again, eight downs, C, eight downs, A7, four downs, D7, four downs, and G, five downs with a pause. Okay, so I'm gonna go through this chords for you. I'm gonna play and speak meanwhile. So let's go. I'm gonna uh, slow down the tempo a little bit so you have time to... Um, to uh, get what I what I'm playing and saying, okay? So G, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, A seven, eight downs, and C, eight downs. G, eight downs, C, eight downs, A seven, four downs, D seven, four downs, and G, one, two, five and a pause so the last g there five downs and a pause and that brings up the tension for the next part which is an instrumental part okay uh, for this instrumental part this is where we will use all these little bit different chords we learned okay so now from now on think as just down up down up that will be kind of one strumming round when we play this uh this instrumental parts so it starts with c major seven then c major nine we call that nine now so c major seven this one and then the c major nine and then G, G, all right? So you're gonna play that for two rounds. So C major seven, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Then C major nine, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Then G, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, 
that is one round, you play it for two rounds, so... Right? And for the third round, you play again C major 7, the same. And the same with the C major 9. Now you just play the G for down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Right? And then you shift to the C sharp minor 7. And play the same there. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And then comes the C major 7. Same there. And then comes the A minor 9. Same there. And then you're gonna play one full strumming run of G. And that means down, up, 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 down, up. Okay, so. All right. So that was the instrumental part. And could be a little bit too much to just take in. So I will try to play that for you. I'm gonna play a little bit slower. And I'm gonna play the full instrumental part here for you, okay? So let's go starting with the C major 7. that all right and just one tip there when you come from this c sharp minor seven and you go to the c major seven just take your fingers from this position here index finger on the second fret d string and perhaps uh, you use your ring finger here for the fourth fret a string when you go to the c major seven don't take the grip like this because you will have problem with the next chord to reach out to the 5th fret E string. So go from here and just add your middle finger to the 3rd fret A string. So you have the C major 7 with these two fingers, the index and middle finger. And then you can easily reach out with a little pinky here on the 5th fret on E string to grab the A minor 9. So just uh, technical stuff there, so it will be easier for you. All right, so that's that. Let's go on to the third verse there. It will be pretty much the same as the other verses. The only different thing here is when you play the G, first G, C, A7, and the C that comes right after that. In the lyrics, I like ya though. Okay, this one you don't strum, you just play one down and then you continue to play the strumming with all the other chords, all right? So that's the only difference there in the third verse, otherwise the same. Okay, then comes a uh, second chorus, and the first, uh, kind of the first part of this chorus will be played in the same way. So you have the G, C, A7, C, G, C, A7, D7, and G. This is played in the same way as the other choruses. Then I'm gonna take you through the final parts here. You're gonna play um, just downs there. Then from uh, from now on, you're gonna continue with the downs since you only play downs in the chorus. So you're gonna play C four times, and then C major seven. So you play the C four times, then C major, sorry, I said seven, I mean nine. So C, C major nine, C major, sorry, C major seven, C major nine, and G, okay? That is one chord progression. So four times on C major seven, four times on C major nine, and eight times on G, and nothing else. <laughs> Sorry for the miss. Like that, you 
play that for two rounds, right? And then comes the C again, C major seven there, the C major nine, four times on each chord there, and then G for four times, and then comes the C sharp minor seven, four times, and then comes the C major seven for one down. And then comes the A minor 9 for one down. And that is where the instrumental part starts. And now we are about 2 minutes and 55 seconds into the song. So just to repeat this final part after the chorus that was played in the same way as other choruses. We had a C major 7 for 4 downs. A C major 9 for 4 downs. And G for 8 downs. You play that for 2 rounds. So again. gonna play the C major 7 4 downs, the C major 9 4 downs and the G 4 downs and the C sharp 4 downs and the C major 7, C major 7 1 down and the A minor 9 1 down and then starts the instrumental parts. Alright so this instrumental part will be played in the same way as the chorus which is the G for one strumming round, C one strumming round, A7 one strumming round and C one strumming round. And then we have just a final post chorus parts. Okay, so this one is G, one full strumming round, C, one full strumming round, A7, one full strumming round, C, one full strumming round. Okay, then comes this uh, C major seven, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So, and then the C major nine, down, up, down, up, down. The G down up down up down up down up and then comes the C sharp minor seven with just one down and a small break and then comes the final part C major seven down up down up down up down up and then the A minor nine down up down up down up down up and the G with one down yeah, so a lot of strumming there in the end with all these crazy chords and that is what we can expect from Peach Pit. They usually have this kind of chords. So I hope this was helpful for you. Um, and if it was, please let me know if you want to learn these kind of songs that it goes a little bit uh, outside the box when it comes to the strumming and the standard chords. Um yeah, just leave a comment of what you think about this and I hope I see you soon again. Don't forget guys to subscribe and thumb up and all that good stuff and play tuned.